I'm going to show you how to sew lingerie elastic to the Luna loungewear. So lingerie elastic is a little bit different than the elastic that you would use in your waistband of your pants. This one is a plush bag, so it has this nice soft side, and that's the side that goes against your skin, and then a more traditional elastic on this side. You also notice that it has this decorated edge here, and then a straight edge. So I've cut my elastic piece to the same size as the binding pattern piece and I've marked the center of the elastic and the center of the neckline and matched them up. And I'm gonna take the edge of the end of the elastic and match it up with the end of the neckline here. So when you do this, you want the wrong side of the elastic against the right side of the cami. And this will result in that soft plush side being against your skin when this is worn. And we're matching the straight side of the elastic with the cut edge of the neckline. So just like that. I'm going to baste this in place with a straight stitch. So I know that that goes against everything in your core for sewing with knits, but this is just temporary. And I like the result of the folded edge better when I use a straight stitch for this. So we're going to start stitching. I'm using a basting stitch. It's a length of five, the longest my machine goes, and a straight stitch. I'm not going to stretch for the first inch or so. So once I get that established and anchored into place, then I'm gonna stretch the elastic so that it matches the length of the neckline. But I'm not stretching so much that I stretch the fabric as well. And I'm just stitching right along the edge of that decorative edge. So when we flip that elastic under, we want that decorative element to show. So I'm like an eighth of an inch inside of that, I would say. So when I get to the end here, I'm not going to stretch my elastic because I didn't stretch my elastic on the initial end. So I'm relaxing it, matching up the end, and then grabbing about an inch down, and then I'm stretching. So I'm not stretching that final inch. And just take your time. Keep the raw edge of the fabric lined up with the edge of the elastic and maintain a consistent seam allowance there. stitch at the end and that's what we have so you can see where that stitching is that started a little bit far away I'm actually I'm gonna go over that again a little bit closer so that it's consistent there we go and now you're going to turn it this way, fold that elastic over. So then you'll see that you have the plush side on the wrong side, and then that little decorative edge peeks out. So you're gonna fold it all the way over. You can press that if you'd like. Um, be careful with the elastic, it may melt. So I'm just gonna pin it in place. Or clip it, I should say. So we have our elastic pinned in place. This is what it looks like from the wrong side. Again, that plush side of the elastic is what's going to be against our skin when this is worn. And we have the decorative edge peeking out there. So now this is when you definitely want to switch to a stretch stitch on your machine. So I'm going to just use a standard zigzag stitch and I'm taking my width to a 3.5 and my length to a 5. So 
And then you're just going to sew against that folded edge. Now again, you can see where our fabric is gathered slightly here. You're just gonna stretch that elastic gently so that you're not sewing gathers, you're sewing on straight fabric. And we're sewing right against that folded edge of the fabric. Ooh, may have gotten too far over the edge, we'll see. If you'd like a wider zigzag stitch, you can certainly do that as well. I would not go any more narrow than about a 3.5 though. You want it to cover the elastic nicely. So there you can see that zigzag stitch right along the edge, all the way down. And this is what it looks like on the back. And so this orange stitch, that's our basting stitch that we initially used and then our zigzag stitch that's holding everything securely in place and there we go so this is just on a scrap piece here i've used all of this fabric from serge this is a double brushed poly so and there you go you could give it a quick press and you can see that it stops that puckering after you do that. So just watch the heat on your iron with the elastic and your fabric type. And that's how you sew lingerie elastic on the Luna loungewear.